everyone and welcome back to my channel. We're down here in my craft room where I've been working really hard on my latest Christmas journal. I have the cover all made. It's going to be a ring journal and I've just been pulling pages and I thought it, as I was pulling the pages it might be kind of fun to film a video really quick just to give some tips on how to find things to put in your your Christmas journal specifically if you like to do kind of the retro style vintage journals. And the first thing I like to do when I'm starting the journal, or any journal for that matter, is to pick a theme, a color theme. So for Christmas time, you could choose kind of the, the pink Christmas look. I really like that. Um, traditional red and green, uh, kind of an old timey flea market look. If you like the really kind of old, uh, old look, um, like I'm trying to think of like the Tim Holtz type look. Um, more recently, Kathy Holtz. Holden. She's got some really cute things um, that kind of have that sort of flea market Christmas look. Um, so picking a theme is what I like to start out with. And I like to, I, I keep these magazines out. These are older uh, vintage holiday magazines and flea market style magazines. They had some really great issues a couple years back of the kind of the retro looking Christmas themes. And I like to just flip through the magazines just to get some ideas of, you know, color schemes and maybe ephemera ideas that I would want to put in my journal. So once I kind of have the cover made and everything, I start to think about my pages and I really like to use scrapbook kits. I kind of have everything spread out all over my craft room. So I'm just going to kind of be on the floor and be on the table and that kind of thing. Um, but every year I try to pick out a few really cute collections from uh, some of the the popular companies that do kind of the, the retro themed Christmas look. I really like Simple Stories. Uh, this one, oh, I don't know which, that's a different one. Um, I do Simple Stories. This year I got Mix and Mingle and it's got a really cute uh, vintage kind of retro Christmas theme. And then another collection I'm working with is the Fancy Pants Cookies for Kringle, which is a really cute uh, paper theme too. And every year they always come out with some really cute things. So I get a couple, couple every year because they can carry over into next year. But what I really like about using the scrapbook paper is that it's a little bit thicker and it's nice to kind of anchor your journal a little bit because if you're putting a lot of vintage magazine pages and things like that in your journal, you want to have something a little strong to kind of hold everything together. So I use a few different patterns of scrapbook paper and different sizes too, depending on, you know, what I like. Um, but the great thing about the scrapbook companies is they, the, they'll put it to put together a collection kit. So you'll get the scrapbook paper, plus you'll have some cute little embellishments and maybe some uh, die cuts and everything. So, so a lot of it is kind of one-stop shopping. You can get those and you have a lot to put in your journal. So those are newer items, uh, but I like to mix those in with my, with my vintage items. Another place I always check out for scrapbook paper pads is Michael's and Hobby Lobby, especially Michael's. They seem to have some really good Christmas themed paper pads. And what's nice about their paper pads is most of the time when I've gotten them, the other side is blank. So you have a pattern on one side and then the other side is blank. And it's nice because then it allows you to be a little more creative in your journal and you can add embellishments to the back um, or even use it for journaling. You could stamp uh, journal lines on it and then use it for writing you know, your Christmas memories or things like that. So that's what I really about, like about these. So I kind of mix in some of my double-sided scrapbook paper along with the, uh, you know, the, the ones that have the, the white on the other side. And when you're also, when you're picking out your, your papers, and if you don't want to buy a whole bunch of new stuff, just think about kind of the feeling of Christmas. So you want to think about, you know, maybe a winter theme. So if you have, you know, maybe some scrapbook paper that has some some snowy scenes on it or something, not necessarily Christmas, but maybe just has that kind of holiday feeling. You could definitely use that red and green scrapbook paper. You know, it could be just a fun, maybe family themed paper that has red and green on it. You can use that as Christmas. It doesn't necessarily have to have a snowman on it or be Christmas. But um, if you just want something, 
you don't want to get a whole bunch of new supplies. Kind of look at what you have and see, you know, do I have some colors I can pull that kind of fit the Christmas theme? Um, especially, you know, if you want to do pink and mint Christmas, you know, there's a lot of um, collections throughout the year that have those colors in them. So you can kind of incorporate that in and then maybe just have a couple of little Christmas embellishments to kind of pull everything together so you get the idea that it's that it's a holiday journal. So let me go ahead and show you what I've been working with. So I've, I've got a lot of my pages um, set up. I talked about the scrapbook paper. So scrapbook paper, I like to use also um, vellum vellum sheets so I have a lot of printed vellum this particular sheet like this is an example of not using you know say an actual Christmas themed piece of paper but this is a piece of vellum with green bows on it this looks like Christmas but it's actually um I don't know if it's it's not October afternoon it's another brand but the the name is called oh darling it's from a really long time ago actually I think it's Maggie Holmes from a, years ago and I bought a bunch of this vellum from I forget where but the, it had the uh, green bows on it and I thought how cute would that be for Christmas and I've actually used it a lot in some Christmas journals I always tuck them into the pages um, so I've got that um, in addition to my scrapbook pages also for to kind of pull in all the vintage look for Christmas I'll add things like um, this, I have a old placemat that I, I trimmed down and this was, I went thrifting and I found this really great box of napkins, coasters, and these placemats that all have the same theme. And I've been using these placemats a lot for journals because they have a, you know, a really great picture of the poinsettia and the season greetings. And, you know, depending on the size of your journal, which mine's a little bit bigger this year, I'm going to, um, I just have to cut, trim it down a little bit. And so it's got a nice... Uh, page I can use for uh, the journal. So that's kind of the, the scrapbook type pages. Um, another thing I like to use is uh, different types of old magazines. So I'll go to thrift stores, antique malls, things like that. And I always look in their magazine section and I'm, I'm sure I make sure that I pick up a few. They're usually very inexpensive and I happen to find a lot of uh, December, uh, the month of December magazines, and then also actual Christmas themed publications. So this one is from Family Circle. This is from 1979. So this is perfect. So you could grab um, a couple of pages from this magazine using, you know, maybe the recipes, some of the crafts, uh, pictures of the food, uh, you know, anything like this. And this, I mean, this will last you for many years. Or many, or make you can make many journals out of this. So, um, Christmas themed magazines, vintage magazines. Um, I also have this Christmas catalog from Avon, which has some just some more craft ideas for Christmas and Christmas photos, uh, pictures of food, recipes, that kind of thing. So, catalogs are really good too to think about. Um, and another thing with the catalogs, I have these over here from Montgomery Ward and Sears. These aren't necessarily Christmas themed, but some of them are from the winter time. So they have like a winter sale or it's uh, the fall and winter edition of the catalog. A lot of times in these catalogs, you can find photos of things that seem like winter. Uh, let me show you really quick what I mean. Not seem like winter, but seem like kind of Christmassy. Um, I actually found the, oh, this is from, I think, one of the Sears catalogs. This is a picture of a fireplace. So that's very cozy and Christmassy looking. There's nothing that really says Christmas on here, but it kind of gives you the look of Christmas. So this is one of the pages I'm going to include in my journal. And then the other side is a picture of some fireplaces from the, I think they're from the 60s or 70s. So um, that's another um, thing to think about when you're looking through magazines and catalogs. It doesn't necessarily have to be actual Christmas, but something that feels like Christmas. Blankets, um, hats, gloves, boots, pictures of those. Those would be great to throw in a journal for, for your uh, Christmas theme. Um, some other things. Let's go back down to the magazines. Other things I like to collect too are, um, you can find Christmas craft magazines specifically. And these are nice because, um, 
you know, they have more Christmas crafts in them too. So, um, and a lot of times they're not super thick, so you can, they're pretty inexpensive. So you can find some pages from here. You know, if you have like an old catalog, like a baking catalog, a lot of times they'll have themes within the catalog, you know, for birthdays, Christmas, that kind of thing. So you can pull a couple of Christmas pages and add those to your journals. And those are kind of fun to, to put in as well. I also like to add uh, book pages, actual, you know, storybook pages. If you have some old Christmas books, those are fun to put in. Uh, I'm trying to think of some other things I like to add. This is an example of a page I pulled from a floral book. Um, it's a picture of pine, a pine tree or pine branch. And, you know, nothing on it says Christmas, but it kind of implies Christmas trees. So this is one of the things I'm adding. There's also some fun, um, if you if you go into uh, cookbooks, that's another thing I like to use too. They have usually, usually cookbooks kind of divide their uh, chapters up into themes for, for holidays and that kind of thing. And under the holiday section, you can find some really fun party uh, recipes, some how to have a party. So it's kind of a fun thing to add to your journals too, just sort of about entertaining during the holidays. So I like to add a lot of that. This one has a holiday buffet. I use a lot of those um, advertising cookbooklets that you can get from thrift stores, and those have great ideas great uh, recipes and, and different ideas for holiday themes you can put in your in your books. Um, this is an example of just a book page that I'm going to be adding to my journal. It's kind of a winter theme. It's got snow on it, so I just thought that would be fun to add. Um, oh, here's one of the, these are the cookbooklets I was talking about. I love to collect these, and this is an actual um, Christmas one, and this is actually, I'm going to include this whole thing in my journal because I think it's fun to to flip through and kind of look at all the fun old-fashioned recipes but but you could use um you know just a page or two from these and add them to your journal as well this is just another I think this was a magazine page uh from a vintage magazine of some recipes for cookies if worse comes to worse and you you know can't get out to a thrift store or you can't you know find what you're looking for that's what Etsy is for. I'm I'm a big fan of Etsy. I have an Etsy shop, but I also shop at other people's Etsy shops because a lot of times I can't find certain things in my part of the country, whereas other people can. And actually, Etsy, since it's all over the world, you can get really fun vintage items um, from all over the world um, that people offer in their shop. So that's, that's one of the things I love about Etsy. But another thing is, too, um, you can purchase printables. So a lot of times people will... Uh, you know, maybe find something vintage and then turn it into a printable. And so those are really nice to include in your journals too. I have this um, calendar that I found on one of, uh, I forget which Etsy site it is, um, but it's really cute. I'm going to include this in my journal as well. Um, so definitely keep that in mind. Um, if you're just, if you're kind of doing some last minute additions to your junk journal and you want to add some things but you don't have anything on hand go to Etsy you can quickly download um, some printable items um, but you can also if you have some time you can order ephemera kits and things like that and people will put together um, different you know Christmas book pages and things like that that you can order and have sent to your house and then you'll have something to add to your journals too and then just the final thing that I just kind of, I do this last, after I'll add all my pages to my journal, I just add ephemera. So I've got, um, you know, Christmas coasters, greeting cards, stickers. This is kind of a, my little Christmas drawer here. I've got some, some Christmas cards here that I add for kind of journaling pages and things like that. These are really fun. Um, coasters are a nice, coasters and doilies are really nice to add for some texture. You can turn them, um, you can, like, since I'm doing a ringed binder, you could put a little um, punch hole in here and kind of use it as a page, sort of, or just like a fun divider in your journal. Um, napkins are really nice for, like, a collage or something like that. Um, what else do I have? I have some decals, some stickers, um, vintage wrapping paper, fabric, all these little types of things can add some really nice touches to your Christmas journals. 
Oh, one more thing I really like. Well, and if you like to collect these cards like I do, um, I love these recipe cards. And a lot of times these vintage recipe cards are divided up by season and you can find a holiday section in the cards and they're great for adding to journals. And I'm actually going to add a couple of these cards to my journal too. So, so just some ideas. And then, um, you know, the usual kind of game pieces and things like that. When I'm adding, um, you know, bingo cards and things to my journal, I think about using, you know, the Christmas colors. So for instance, I have this pile here. So this is a green bingo card, kind of a minty color. Um, I've got some October afternoon ephemera that I'm going to add. Um, just some tabbed index cards that kind of go along with my um, cover color theme a little bit. Um, another idea, if you have double-sided scrapbook paper and you really only just like one side of it, like for this one, um, this was from, I think, October afternoon. It's a Christmas card list. It was like a cut-apart thing on a page. The other side had some really bright red pattern that I didn't really like. So I ended up, one side I have the Christmas card list, and then the other side I glued some vintage Christmas paper or Christmas wrapping paper on the back. So it makes a nice little page that you can add to your journal too, or little pocket or, how, you know, however you're making your journal. So anyway, just this is kind of a real low-key explanation of how I pick things for my journal. I'm going to have a blog post too that's going to list everything and kind of give you a rundown of where I find things. So you can head over there and I'll put some links too um, for some ideas on, on where to find certain things. But let me know if you have any questions. I am going to finish up this journal hopefully in the next couple of weeks and then I'll do a, a flip through and I may uh, put it in my shop too. Um, so we'll see how it ends up turning out. And um, so I'll be adding that. And then I also have some, uh, I have a Christmas shop within my Etsy shop. So if there's anything that you want to take a look at, there's still a few. I have some Christmas card bundles, some vintage Christmas card bundles in there and um, a couple of small ephemera kits too that I put together. So um, you can take a look at those too if you're if you're looking for some Christmas stuff. Another thing I have is some, um, I have a Christmas stamp D stash. So if you are looking for Christmas stamps, head over to my D stash section in my Etsy shop and there's a whole package of Christmas stamps that would be that, that are great I just don't use them anymore there's nothing wrong with them but um, I thought I'd pass them on to somebody that might be more you know might want to get started on some Christmas stamping so um, and those are great to add to kind of change up your your journal pages too if you want to if you maybe don't have a uh, you know p specific piece of Christmas cardstock or scrapbook paper you can stamp a Christmas design on it. And then there you go. You've got a Christmas piece of Christmas paper. So, um, so you can head over to my shop and, and take a look at those things. But um, thank you again for watching and let me know if you have any questions and I'll see you in my next video.